page about that. He's a great dude, but he smells. And you guys can't experience that, but every day I do. He likes to think he smells good. And so usually he gets his nice professional grooming every six weeks because he's a spoiled poochie. But obviously, given the times, that is not possible. And so he is coming to me as a groomer. It's gonna be my new profession. We're gonna give it a go. I've done human hair for Ricky Dillon, Jeff Wittick, and now I'm going to do puppy hair. Am I going to do puppy hair? Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. He doesn't know what he's in for. He does not know. I think he has a suspicion that something's up, but he doesn't quite know what. Now, Gallup, you just never know how Gallup's gonna react. Do you, Mom? Nope. He could be so into it, or he could be terrified. It just really depends. So we're gonna work on a positive tone of voice, happy attitude, lots of treats, try to make him feel really comfortable. We used to bathe him in the backyard when he was a puppy with a hose, but this is the first time we're gonna be doing it actually like in a bathtub. I think I'm gonna get in there with him. But before I do that, I'm gonna call my friend B. She's so good with dogs. She used to have a whole dog yoga business and she rescues dogs and rehabilitates them and trains them and she's just so good and Gallup's best friend is a pit bull who's named Klaus and that's one of Bee's rescues and they're just best friends and he takes baths all the time in her apartment so she's gonna kind of give me some tips and advice and uh, you can check out her Instagram for more doggy fun and meditation and yoga she's just awesome one of my best friends here in LA so we're gonna give her a little call and she's gonna give us some advice for you huh little pep talk little pep talk so we are attempting to bathe Gallup in my bathtub. And so you ever put him in the bathtub? I've ne never even tried putting him in the bathtub. Okay. Never. So it's an adventure. And he's, you know, <laughs> definitely stronger than me and definitely just as big as me, so if not yeah. bigger. So it's definitely gonna be a messy experience. I'm thinking of getting in the tub with him. <laughs> You may have to. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be the best way, but so I know you're way better at these things than me and I figured you might have advice on what I could do. Yeah, I'd love to help you. Okay, what are what are what are your okay. tips for me? Okay, all right. So normally when helping someone with this, I'm so lucky that I've gotten my my two easily in there and they in fact enjoy it. So normally when I help people with this, it takes time. Like we do this over days. So we're just gonna expedite it and we're gonna go through the whole process at once so we'll see how it goes so the first thing I do normally is just get it, see what they're like in the bathtub. Like, you know, does he like the bathtub? Is he afraid of it? It's always good to have some high value treats. So I know Gallup loves cheese, right? Mm -hmm. That's, that's yes. So it's not bad to have some cheese on hand. Even just him knowing that you have it around, he might be more willing to participate or some sort of treat. If you don't, it's not the end of the world because he might go in there willingly. But normally rewarding him for good behavior, you know, during this process is good. So the first thing is just getting him comfortable in the bathtub. So I would say just, do you want to try? Do you want to see how he, how he does as far as just even getting in? All right. Should I just take him to the tub? Take him to the tub. All right. Oh, gosh. Okay. Gallup. Hey, Gallup. I have this exciting idea. Exactly. You talk to him like, this is so fun. You hey, know, Gallup. You our tone. So, oh, my goodness. You're so excited, Gallup, about going and taking a bath. Do, do you want to see how excited he is, B? Oh, yeah. That's it's pretty typical it's Gallop scary. excitement. It's pretty typical Gallop excitement. Come on. Oh, sleepy boy. Just know what Dude. For. Pick up. Let's go. Wee. Oh, yep. There we go. Okay. Typical. Okay. Right this way, Gallop. Right this way, sir. Ooh, the bathroom. Huh? He's like, what? <laughs> Come. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's saying no. He said no. Okay, good. Wee. <laughs> Hey, Gallop! Hey, Shh, we have neighbors. Come on. Wee! Jump on in. Wee! Come on. Come on. Oh, yay! Oh, look! Oh, he's in! Look! Oh, God! Uh, oh, and he's out. <laughs> <laughs> but he got in, and that was so good. That was so good. He seems excited. Okay, that's something. Or, like, we at least got him in. Okay. 
Okay, I've had my call with B, got a few tips in there. Galp already got in the tub, which, you know, he seemed pretty okay with. So we're gonna give this a go. I'm gonna change because I'm getting in that tub with him and I don't wanna get soaked in this. So I'm gonna go change. Mama B is gonna attach a hose that we got. We're gonna have to like tape it because it doesn't fit our shower head. It's a whole thing. So we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna try our best. We're not looking for perfection here. We're just looking for a slightly less stinky gallop. So fingers crossed, we get that done. Before I go any further, I actually wanted to let you guys know that I have a new merch collection coming out. It is a five piece collection dropping on May 2nd. May 2nd is this man's eighth birthday. That's right, May 2nd. Gallop or Goose is turning eight years old. Can't believe it. Where has the time gone, my man? Where has the time gone? I love you. And for Gallop's eighth birthday, we are dropping a five piece collection. Every piece is dog themed. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Here's the new phone case. It says dogs before dudes. And then we have four other pieces dropping. Again, all dog themed. So check that out. 100% of the proceeds are going to be donated to the Mira Foundation. The Mira Foundation is a guide dog school in Quebec, Canada, where I got both Gallup and my first guide dog, Gypsy. And I would love to be able to fundraise and empower other blind people to be able to get guide dogs, especially young people. The Mira Foundation is the first guide dog school in the world who started training service dogs specifically for blind children. So I really want to empower other youth to be able to get guide dogs from there. Guide dogs can cost, you know, between forty to $60,000 per dog, and it's all charity fundraised. There is no government support, no government funding. This is all fundraising, and that's how people like me are able to get these life-changing animals. So I really, really encourage you to check that collection out and help empower other young blind kids to get life-changing dogs like my man Gallup here. There's also Mira USA, which funds blind kids in the US to go to the school in Quebec. So I'm gonna link both the Mira Foundation and Mira USA below in case you yourself are interested in getting a guide dog from there or you are looking to just donate and don't want any of the merch. It's definitely a great place to consider donating. Tell me you don't want more people to get a dog like this in their lives, huh? You're my best friend. You are the dog I'm putting before any dude. That's right. We're a package deal, my friends. Buy one, get one free. Right? Oops! Ooh! Baby found a toy. Did your baby found a toy? We were looking for his hairbrush or his fur brush. But he found a toy instead. Oh! You guys never really get to see playful Gallop because Gallop's always sleepy or guiding. But he's very playful at times. Like once a, every 10 days. Once every 10 days he gets playful. <laughs> right, Mom? Yes. <laughs> I changed into a swimsuit and some shorts, getting ready to be really wet and soapy. Oh, he's leaving. He actually, it's so funny, he wants to go into the bathroom because we put his toys and treats in there. And so now he's like, can we go? Can we go? Can we go? But first I need to brush him and we could not find his brush, but everybody jokes that my hairbrush looks like a dog's brush. So we're gonna test the theory. Gala, come here, baby, or you're gonna shed everywhere. Come here. Yes, thank you. Okay, we're gonna brush you? He loves being brushed. We don't do it as much as we should, but he does love it. The booties where they always seem to collect Gather. all their hair. Yes. Right on that tail, the top of the tail there. Dip it a tail, tip it a tail. Is it catching any? Yes. Ugh. I don't think I'll be using this brush again. This brush has now been donated to the Gallup Fund. From the time I got Gallup, he's just loved having his hair brushed. Loves it. He finds it very relaxing, don't you? It's very relaxing for poopoos. <laughs> he is freaking living for this. He keeps it, right. putting his paw up like, oh, so good. So good. Spotty? Spotty for Gallup. Ooh, a lot of Gallops. A lot of Gallops. I've gotten just about as much gallop hair as I can get out without having a proper brush, but he deeply enjoyed the experience. He's already in the bathroom, ready and waiting to go. So hopefully he enjoys this experience as much. He's a 95 pound dog. He's a big man. This should be a very interesting experience for all of us. And by the way, you know, I mentioned my, my new merch collection at the beginning of this video. It's very hard times for everybody right now. So please don't feel pressure to purchase anything. I'd love it if you did and helped donate, but no pressure because it is a weird time in the world for everyone. And there's a lot of uncertainty 
uncertainty. The reason I didn't push this collection launch back is because I've been planning this collection since I started doing my merch and May is really my month with my dogs. Like Gallup was born on May 2nd and my first guide dog Gypsy passed away on May 22nd. So it's just their month for me. So it felt right to still release it anyways, but there's no pressure. The merch will still, still be there after May. So just want to say that now. Let's go, Neve. Ooh. Oof. He's all ready. We have our light set up. For when? For hopefully just to make it, you know, nice and as aesthetic as we can make this. Hi, baby boy. How are you feeling about this, Gallop? Okay, but All you can do is look at the treats right now. Okay. So this is a special shampoo. It's a medicated shampoo for him. He does tend to get dandruff, especially when we're traveling a lot. He's been really good right now because we're not traveling, obviously, but airplanes give him dandruff because they're so dry. So we have special shampoo for him to make sure he doesn't get too dry. He is, like we groom him every six weeks, which is what we're told is like healthy for his skin and fur anymore. And it would dry him out too much. Any less and he gets too stanky to go in public places, right? I firmly disagree. Get in. I wasn't even ready for that gallop. Well done. He says, okay, what's next? He came in and just like clam it, clam it. No, that's it. Just for me. We love having you in the bathtub with us, huh? You need to stay with me. Okay, so we have bowls of water to help rinse him. We've got this hose hookup, so hopefully we'll try to see if that works. We've got a little bee sponge that one of my bumblebees or killer bees sent me. I've got one of his toys. We've got lots of treats, lots of towels. We're as set up as we can be. Hopefully he doesn't break my light as he tries to like run for freedom. Here we go. Ready, Bubba's? You're so good. Should we give him a treat to start? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. You're such a good boy being in the bathtub. Isn't the bathtub fun? I'm mean, going to clean the bathtub because it's going to get very hairy and Yeah, I mean, why clean it? He's... See, look how fun the bath is. We get treats in the bath. Okay, so... So you're going to have to really hang on to him. It's okay, Gallop. It's so good. That's right. The kind of stance. <laughs> I block him a little bit. Good luck. He's well able to... It'll you be on the ground, not him. I know, I'm scared. Okay, I'm going to try to get the right temperature. So this holds. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Press get up. Press. Rest. Stay. Ooh. Ooh. Remember, there's treats back Ooh. there, Gallop. Ooh, it's really It's messy. really. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is not going to work. This is not going to work, okay. Looks like it's going to be bowls of water. Bowls of water you is. You know what? You can keep filling it up from the top. Yeah, I'm bowls. just going to take yeah. this off. Okay, hold on. Oh. oh, let him go out for a while. Let's get it organized. This is going to be so fun. It's all an experiment. I don't know. Okay. Come on, Come on. You can do it. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. watched my video with Caesar Milan, you know Gallup has a bit of a fear of water, so this is, you know, a little bit scary for the big man, but he's so brave. Huh? Look at the water. It's a nice temperature. We're so quick. We did a good boy. <gasps> Yay! That's right. Press. Oh, yeah. We get up. We. Oh, yeah. We gonna look at you. Look at you, such a big boy. That's right. You're doing so good. So good. Mama, get you more treats. Oh, so good being in a bath like a big boy. That's right. Do we want to put soap on you? I'm gonna pour some on. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, you're, ooh, you're doing so well, buddy. You're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. Isn't that nice? You think so, up. You're being so good. What a gentleman. Jeez. Jeez, please. Jeez, Jeez. says wonders. Jeez, please. Yeah. Is, Jeez that what, wonders. is that what your notebook says? Yes, it says, Jeez, please. Oh, yeah. 
getting all wet. Get out of space. I'm gonna start a little bit of cheese. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. Oof. Oh, there we go. Get out. This way. Yeah. Come on back in. Look, the cheese. Cheese. Cheese in the bathtub. Puppies will get in the bathtub. Get the cheese. Puppies will get in the bathtub. That's a good boy. That's right. That's right. Get your booty in. Get your booty in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're in the bathtub. Yeah, it's so fun. So fun in the bathtub. We get cheese in the bathtub. That's right. He just knew if he got out that you'd give him more cheese. He's a clever monkey. Aren't he you? is a very clever, smart monkey. That's why I'm a good guide dog. Because I'm very clever. Ooh, how are you feeling, Molly? You know, a little sore on the back. He's worth it. Sometimes He's we doing have to, a great job. Sometimes we have get... to do things for our babies. I don't think it'd be this good. Ooh, there's lots of hair in that bath. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a sponge bath. Picture me being like a hot nurse. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Another fantasy. <laughs> I'm not your mom. I'm a hot nurse. And you've been in the hospital. And you're just itching for a sponge bath. He's like, you're not amusing me. Am I not amusing? Am I not amusing to you? No. No, I'm not that funny. I'm not that funny. Oh, look at that. Wow, you're as clean. Grandma helped dump some water buckets on us. And we were so good. He just managed to go into the corner, knock over his treats. Because he's so silly. And he was like, I want one. So I just gave him another treat because he's being the bestest boy in all the land. Oh, every professional groomer watching this is like, what is she doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying my best to not have a stinky, dirty dog in quarantine. Any files? So check. Make sure I don't feel anywhere being too soapy. I'm gonna look like I haven't shaved in years. <laughs> I have the longest, darkest hair. My bath water is looking pretty rotten. Everything is here. He's like, this is very rude, Grandma. It's very rude. Mommy is not that dirty. Come on. Almost done. We're doing final wipe down, babies. Get the insides and the outsides. Huh? Okay, so that was my final thing, and now I'm gonna go with my hands and just try to push any water out because we have got some extra skin. Don't we? Push the water out. Let's get the tail out, huh? Okay. It is good. I feel those explosions about to come. It is. Oh, it is. He's holding it in as long as he can. And now we're gonna get a puppy explosion in this very small bathroom. I'm ready, you can shake it off. Shake it up, shake it up. Ooh, ooh. Oh. There it goes. Yeah. Whee! Whee! Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Actually, that was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Well, there we go. I took all that time. It's the biggest towel we have. Okay. Bye. Okay, let me take your collar off for you. Now that I don't need to hold you down. Slide your head out, there. There you go. This is the biggest towel we've got. It's a YouTube towel. And this is the... <laughs> <laughs> I almost died. Live on camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's drying himself off. Come here. This is the favorite part. We love being dried and struggled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad I got it. Whoa. It's trying to run through my legs. I'm so glad I got as much of that water out as possible so that that shake wasn't so bad, huh? Yes, we love this. We love being dry with towels. Oh, okay. He hates his ears being wet. Oh. That's why my grandma's gonna clean your ears out for you. That's why your grandma's gonna clean your ears out for you. How many times can I be this up close and personal with his butt today? <laughs> I see a lot of your booty today, yeah. It's good booty, but nonetheless. So stop talking about my booty. He's like, I got it from my mama. <laughs> Got it from the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Gallop? Run free. Run free. Be free. Do you want to go out in the balcony? Come on. How are you feeling? Was that fun? Oh, ah, I want to tie ah, myself just, in your head. just went through my legs. Wait, no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> to the bathroom. No, babe. Looking for more babe, treats. You had so many treats. I don't want you getting sick. Huh? I don't want sick pooch. Right? Because mm -hmm. you know how you get. I'm a little... Yeah, that's why we pay a groomer to do this? Yes. Yeah. The money's worth it. Hey, Monsky. 
You look like as snug as a bug in a rug. What you doing, dude? Look at the camera. Hey, Gobe. This is Gallop. And he's a clean boy, aren't you? What is he doing? <laughs> Are you making a show for the cameras? So Gallop and I had our bath together a few days ago and he has been so shiny and silky clean ever since. We always clean his ears out after his bath so they're nice and clean. He was getting lots of compliments the next day on his walk about how shiny he is and you're not so stinky. So I think overall the bath was a success. That said, I will still be paying to have him professionally groomed once the world goes back to normal. But in a pinch, now we know we can do it. I, I'm very proud of him. I think he did so well. He was a really brave big boy. And thank you to my mom for thoroughly having to clean out that bathtub of fur after Ooh, the bath was it done. was a mess. The whole bathroom was a mess. There's hair everywhere. You're a mess. <laughs> but it was worth it. Worth and he seemed to love it at the end. Like, he was so happy. Yeah, he felt really good after. Like, he was like, I'm clean. I'm free. I'm less furry. I smell good. He seemed in a good mood and he's actually been in a good mood every day since the bath. Yeah. I think he just needed a good grooming. All right, Gallop, tell the people what they should watch next. If you want more content from me, click up here to watch my review of Princess Polly and right up here to hear about the time I dated somebody HIV positive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had a little bit of fun with me and have a beautiful, happy, healthy, beautiful, happy, healthy, safe day. Bye.